Yep, you're probably wondering how I got here, unloading another pile of cameras. The story itself is actually kind of interesting. Every once in a while, I'll look on eBay for local listings because sometimes people will offer pickups and you can save a good deal on shipping, what have you. So I got myself into an auction for an Olympus OM2S program, and this was being sold by the Salvation Army, and I won it for about 40 bucks. You know, plus lenses is a decent deal, all the better because I didn't have to pay for shipping. So I go to pick up the Olympus OM2 at the Salvation Army warehouse where they distribute all the things that are donated and bring them onto stores and what have you. So I go there and the person who gives me the camera, he says, oh, so you're interested in other cameras, I'm sure, right? And I said, well, of course. And he says, well, let's go back to the warehouse and I'll show you what we have. And I'm pretty giddy and try not to, you know, be too obvious in that. So we go back and he shows me this pallet, a four foot by four foot pallet, just full of cameras, dusty cameras, all in bags. And, I, you know, my eyes pretty much jump out of my sockets seeing that. And he says, you know, I don't have time to go through all these cameras or sell them. So how about we just do a big bulk offer? You know, you can look through them and see what you like. And let's just, you just take them all pretty much. So I look through them all and I'm finding some decent cameras just on the very top layer. We're talking Canon AE1s, digital point shoots, camcorders. So this top pile alone looks pretty good. And the guy offers me 600 for it all. And I said immediately, yes. So I pile it all in the car. I don't have any space, not even space for like a water bottle. This car is so fully loaded with cameras. And here we are now at the garage unloading it all. I reckon there's at least 100 cameras in this pile, if not more. It's taken me a while to unload them. And what I'm going to do now is open them up and just basically we'll look together and see what there is. I don't really want to value things in terms of dollars, euros, or whatever it be. I'll use the only currency that really matters to me, and that's me and format Porsche 400. I'm already in the hole a little bit after that $600 for these 100 plus cameras, as well as that 40 for that Olympus OM2S. So let's just get started. Of course, there's that Olympus OM2S that I bought, and it does work. The first Polaroid 600 of the day, the first of many, I suspect. And then a Kodak Brownie, that's a given at this point. And a Pentax SP, that has seen much better days. I'm assuming this is not gonna work pretty beat up. Pentax A3000, not that special of a camera, but does have lenses. First camcorder of the day. I'm gonna skip over a lot of the camcorders because there's a shit ton of them. But nonetheless, some of these do have value. Little eight millimeter camera in pretty rough shape. Probably not worth much. Minolta Maxim 5. This one has some lenses, so can't complain about that. Also nice Pentax lens. Nikon bag, so of course, a Minolta. That makes sense. What type of Minolta? Minolta SRT 101. That's hard to beat. Minolta Maxim 3XI, nothing too crazy. Got ourselves a nice box here, an old box with some manuals. And let's see here what's in this. The Claris rangefinder. It looks pretty rough though, not gonna lie. What else we got? Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. that is a Leica, my friends. A Leica 3C. I actually have one already. This one looks pretty beat up, but it could get repaired, honestly, because I think it does have good bones. Not only that, but it does come with a 35 millimeter Serenar lens. And if I can actually get cleaned up, that's worth a pretty penny, I think. Also got this nice 50 millimeter Summitar on this Nika Type 4. Summitar will make for a nice full Leica kit with that other body. And then this Nika actually works and looks pretty good, surprisingly. Also got a couple Contaflexes. Those are kind of meh. One of them actually does work though, which is kind of rare. Can't beat the old Nikon Sure Shot. Got ourselves a nice 70s corduroy bag of sorts and it's got just lenses in there. That's pretty nice though. I think there's even a Minolta one here. That's a pretty decent Minolta lens. And there's even some old Kodachrome in here too, which is cool. Good old Nikon cool picks. I'm expecting a couple of these today. Olympus IS-10 one ugly ass camera. Rico points you with a bounty of expired film. Sony Cybershot in all its glory. Off to a good start with the good old Canon AE-1. Here's hoping that a couple more will pop up. A bag of cheap scanning supplies and Nikon Cool Picks number one, Nikon Cool Picks number two. We got fancy bag opens up and another Minolta SRT 101 with a boatload of accessories. Well, I reckon a Geiger counter? Yeah, sure, might as well have one too while I'm at it. 
what's this here? And oh shoot, hey yo, Nikon FE. I'll take that, and it's got a nifty fifty f one point four. Can't complain about that. Good old Polaroid Job Pro with the box. Minolta XG1, very dusty, very nice. Hey, another Minolta. Shoot, this one's an X700. Can't complain about that. Can Fotura. Ugh, what the heck. Olympus OM1. We got another Olympus in addition to the first one we bought. Nice. Canon Z155. Nice little point and shoot. All right, and the Hasselblad back. Holy crap. Got a Hasselblad, so this could work well for mine. No, don't get your hopes up, though. There's no Hasselblad body in this bag. Canon AE-1, though, and some lenses, so I can't complain about the bag, no matter what. Polaroid 600, Lumix point and shoot, let's go. Olympus Super Zoom, ain't no infinity, but I'll take it. Little Sony point and shoot, not too bad. Nice Kodak Easy Share. Nice Canon EF zoom lens, at least looks nice. And then a good old Canon Rebel, nice. Good old Polaroid 600 once again. And a Polaroid SX70 film camera. Olympus point and shoot, let's go, that's nice always. Another Nikon Coolpix all day, every day, got like that. Keystone 16 millimeter, my first one ever. Polaroid Pro Pack, never seen one of those either. Little Fuji point and shoot, gotta have one. A Canon Rebel once again, nice. Little Canon camcorder, that's always worth a chunk. Middle to Maxim, yeah, you know, it's got some lenses though. Also another Canon Rebel with lenses. Canon AV-1, the uh, not so attractive stepbrother of the AE-1. Nikon N55 with some film and some lenses. Polaroid 1, Polaroid 2. Another Canon AV-1 with a zoom. Canon Power Shot. Canon AE-1 again. Another Canon Rebel. The brick can't go wrong with the Argus C3. Ooh, let's go, Sony camcorder. Little Pentax point and shoot. Olympus, Olympus OM2S program. That's literally the one I bought originally. I got another one thrown in apparently with lenses. Nikon N8008, and it's a little busted, but it's got lenses. Nice Olympus Infinity, there we go. Polaroid 600 once again. Nikon Coolpix. And a Canon T70 with lenses though. Well, that's the bulk of the cameras now. I actually haven't shown all of them. Some of them slip through the cracks. There's a lot of digital point and shoots and camcorders. So doing the math, accumulating all those as well, we actually have a little bit more than what I'm showing. We have at least 45 rolls worth of portrait more just off the digital point and shoots, some of the cameras didn't include. And for the 10 additional camcorders I didn't show, we have a worth of about 83 rolls of portrait. So that brings us up to a final total of 360 rolls of portrait 400. Of course, that's not really gonna be the true value in the end. I haven't accounted for all the extra lenses and accessories. I haven't accounted for the 29 rolls of expired film that were also included with all this. And you know, there's just a lot of things that are probably already broken things that need to be repaired, things that need batteries, you have fees, you have taxes. As for a little bit more of a breakdown of these 100 total cameras, I got 19 Canon cameras, nine Minoltas, 10 Polaroids, 10 Olympus cameras, and 10 Nikon cameras. Well, there you have it, a long day of piling up, organizing, cataloging cameras. I wasn't bullshitting when I said there was a thrift store Leica, although it was a Salvation Army warehouse, so I guess that's for you to decide. And as I already said, I do think this Leica could get repaired. It shows good bones, no major signs of damage. It's pretty grubby, but I have already had experience getting a Leica 3C repaired, and this one looks like a good contender. Even though I most likely do want to sell it, I think it would be nice just to see this first brought back to life. Um, I'm sorry about the audio issues, by the way. My camera just kind of broke on me in the middle of this video, so I'm kind of having to go with the old iPhone. Nonetheless, um, I hope I get some more lucky finds like this in the future. Probably not, though. And I guess that's just for you to find out if you watch my videos. And I guess back to work.